Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. Bid too low and you're at a risk of losing the advertising opportunities. Bid too high, you're messing with the marketing ROI. How do you deal with this situation? This is where a lot of experts, a lot of companies, a lot of platforms give you a ton of suggestions. But please understand, bidding manually is getting tougher than ever. The secret to achieving the right marketing is to get as much insights as possible on bids, on demographics, on things which are people looking at, behaviors and what creatives are displayed to who, when and where. This is where automation, specifically with the help of ML and AI, is going to solve a lot of problems for you. But be careful, if you're not at caution and if you don't proceed with caution, it will be the source of all your problems at some point in time. Here are a few things where ML and AI are solving a lot of problems for you. Bidding, creatives, audiences and attribution. Be aware that this discussion and these pointers are only specific to Google Ads at the moment. Machine learning is coming at you, coming at you at a very, very rapid pace. And if you don't do things correctly, it is going to bite you real bad. Fundamentally, what is machine learning? Machine learning is something that looks at your historical data and makes predictions for you based upon certain things. When you're talking about Google Ads, it looks at previous behaviors, it looks at previous purchases, it looks at previous things related to your bids, your bid history, how your creatives are, etc, etc, etc. It basically looks at data points and predicts outcomes based upon these data points. Now come to think of it, what is the source of this data? Who is giving this data to Google Ads or the algorithms? The data is pretty much coming from your own system. The data that ML algorithms in your Google Ads uses is from your own Google Ads account. Now think of it, if the data is bad, what are the outcomes going to be? pretty bad, right? Basically, machine learning only works in your favor if the data that you feed into the system or the historical data that is being provided to the algorithm is right and it is not messed up. So bad data in, bad data comes out. Good data in, good predictions come out. Now let's take an example. You have built a Google Ads campaign. Let's assume that there's one ad group which, which has pretty irrational, irrelevant set of keywords for some reason. I'm not doubting your expertise, but assume that hypothetically you have one ad group or one campaign where the list of keywords that you have figured are all irrelevant. Now, machine learning algorithms, when they come into play, uses these, these list of keywords and when they start making bid predictions or keyword search term predictions or conversion predictions for your keywords, don't you think that keyword, the data is going to be messed up? Because the bad data that you had in your account already has become the source of the machine learning algorithms and the outcome naturally is going to be as bad as you can expect. But if you maintain the core aesthetics of the fundamentals of Google Ads, which is having the right set of keywords, having the right creatives, talking about what your website is talking about in your ads, talking about your USPs, if you follow, if you stick to the core aesthetics of how a Google Ads needs to be structured, machine learning can help you go a long way. If you don't, that can turn out to be a fatal curse where your ad accounts get filled with, with junk data which will not solve any problem for you. We have, to, we have spoken about four areas where machine learning is actually really helping you, already helping you when we talk about Google Ads. First thing we had was bidding. Now when you talk about bidding, in the, things like smart bidding and automated bidding is actually doing you a favor by letting you decide, but it letting you be in control of how much is the maximum cap that you would want to have. And Google then goes at looking at data, making predictions as to is, going, is the optimum bid for you and that is going to set the bid at that correct bid so that you get maximum conversions. Now, who is doing all this play? Machine learning. Now, similarly, a lot of us have a tendency of looking at automatic bidding and uh, getting scared that Google might bid too much, but it is bidding too much based upon the parameters that you have. Google doesn't hate you and Google doesn't hate you alone for that matter. If it is working for a huge set of advertisers, it is, it is also most definitely going to work for you, provided your account aesthetics are right. Also, a word of caution. If you are blindly implementing the recommendations that Google Ads is suggesting you, and if you are arguing that Google Ads is not working for you or machine learning is not working for you, that may be a possibility because blindly following recommendations that Google suggests is at your own risk. So I strongly recommend in almost all of my videos where I speak about this, where please proceed with caution when you're applying recommendations by Google. 
do not blindly assume that whatever google is suggesting is going to be right because there are multiple factors that come into play and at the at the end of the day it is just a system maybe the account that is being fed into the algorithm is bad maybe your account is not rightly structured there could be a lot of factors so blindly do not follow the recommendations the next thing where google actually helps you with its machine learning power is audiences when you talk about audiences you have lists custom lists that you have uploaded you have remarketing audiences that you have created you have remarketing lists from google analytics that you have imported audiences looks at what clicks led to conversions it it also takes into account things like bids it also look it also looks at behaviors it also looks at devices it also looks at a lot of other factors in coming up with a decision to identify what audiences are converting better for you who is powering all this machine learning algorithms and the third thing the most important thing that i would want to highlight in this part of discussion is when you talk about creatives everybody were very angry with google when google was switching from expanded text ads to responsive search ads oh now i need to give google 15 headlines now i need to give google four descriptions it's such a pain who is going to write all these creatives but think about it google is actually trying to adapt your creatives in such a way that it is closely related to what the user may be looking at so google does the hard work and and it takes it goes through the painful process well not so painful because it's ml it it does a wonderful job of looking at picking what headlines most may appeal to the user depending upon the keyword that he's searching for so if you think about it what creatives to show who to show these creatives when to show these creatives where to show these creatives google is actually doing a wonderful job by using the power that it has in terms of ml and ai and it is customizing those headlines and descriptions so that it it is it appears to be a close match to what the users may be searching for the last last but not the least we need, when we need to look at attribution fundamentally most of the businesses have uh, last click as the attribution rate attribution model which means the last click that got that is closer to the conversion deserves all the credit for the conversion but fundamentally this concept may be flawed because think about it you saw a google ad you forgot about it you saw a remarketing ad on a, on a random day you received a text message from the business so you decided to go to the shop and buy, to the store and make a purchase so last click most of, very often tells you that sms should get the credit for but actually google ads is what the whole is the google ads is the one that started the whole process so last click research shows that eventually going forward so last click may be a fund, may be a flawed concept in today's multi device multi path and multi path that users are that users tend to take but research states that going forward data driven uh, data driven attribution is the only thing which will be very which will be valid and it will be only the only one which can power you understand what the when the conversion happened and what is the actual path that deserves the conversion and if you look at it that's one reason a lot of ai ml functionalities have been embedded into the new google analytics version and there's a fundamental change in the model that the data is going to be tracked going forward so i strongly urge all of you to make the switch to ga4 also if you have not already done that and that is going to be the center of your data of your marketing strategy than being an extended part thank you so much see you with another interesting session until then my name is casey signing off